So Gary's working on plumbing. It's going in and bypassing all of the um, galvanized, galvanized hooked it on to the copper, putting in um, this PEX in place of the galvanized. And putting in shutoff valves to almost everything he possibly can. Yep. Got one here, one here, one here, one here. Got one there. That's going to go to the kitchen. That, yeah, that's going to go to kitchen cold water or hot water? Cold water. Kitchen cold water. Yeah, this is the cold water line I got in. This okay. goes to the bathroom. Okay. Yeah, so and, the toilet the and the sink. toilet and the sink. That one does. That one over there does the shower. 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 That one goes to the shower. Yep. That's our intake from the pump. Supply from the pump. That one goes to the shower cold water. So yes, it is the red PEX. You can use whichever Gary had to explain this to me. You can use whichever PEX you want. It's the same materials, just different color. Yeah, just a lot of folks like to color code it and use the red for hot and the blue for cold. But they only wanted to sell him hundred foot rolls, so or fifty foot rolls. A hundred foot roll. Hundred foot rolls. I could have used a fifty blue and a fifty red is what I wanted, but, but they just want to sell hundred foot rolls. So I I needed a hundred foot, so I just got it all one color. There you go. That's the ex explanation there. And they and when you put in like copper, you don't color code it. So or galvanize PVC, you kind of do because you use CPVC and PVC. Right. Um, and they're a little different color. It's hard to tell. But there's no difference between the red and the blue. Nope. They're both going to handle hot yep. and cold. They both handle hot or cold. They, uh, I just figured red would be easier for me to see down here. Yeah. So I've got the red one. And uh, so, yeah, and this over my shoulder is going to go to the washer and washer machine. A washer machine. And it'll go to, uh, I'm going to put some, a water tap right here. Oh, wait. i got to be over where you're at. Okay. So I will put a hot and cold water tap right here over the top of that floor drain so cool. that we can fill up buckets or, or wash bins or whatever we need in here. Or run a water hose out the back porch. Yep, yep. run a water hose out the back porch or whatever. And so I'll put a cold, hot and cold tap here from the cold and hot water lines that go to the wash machine. I'll tap off so when I hit the shutoff valves for them, it'll shut both sets off. Awesome. And then, yeah, that's what we've got going on there. He did a lot of work this week and I while I was gone. And I wasn't going to get to come this week, but Luke changed his plans. And so I, he's taking care of freedom for me. And I just got a couple more weeks and then I will be able to be here full-time freedom. Got to get some um, stuff done for freedom and so, Benny so they can come. Yeah, I'm using a... Uh, Rotating pipe cutter there and really cramp down on that. And I will show you guys in a minute my X tool. I really like how it works. It's that tractor. It must be. It, it is. It's, um, I can't ever remember the youngest one's name. Trevor. Trevor. He's grown since we've known him. I know. He was itty bitty boy. Do I need to have this on or hmm? do I need to have this on or turn it off and start it back up? Well, Should be able to take that union off and that union off and get a big chunk of my line out and then start taking the stuff like that loose. I can't get them to turn. So, and I can't get these out. Uh oh. But they're copper, right? No. No. It, it's copper tied into it. Okay. But that's the wrong size. My adapter I bought uh -oh. is the wrong size, and I could not get an adapter. 
So I got something going there and I can't get it out. Oh no. Well, we're not sure this get works. Get a hot water in. heater just for the fact that I can't get this one tied into our current plumbing. Well, we don't know that this works. No, don't know that it works at all. And I it's looking it kind of rusted out at the bottom. I guess if it was rusted out, we we would know because you turned the well on the other day, right? Not long enough to fill it. Not up. long enough to fill it, but long enough to put some water in it, right? Maybe. So tell us about your fitting while you're putting it together. That's a short bite fitting. It's got a collar that slides inside and a crimp that slides over the top. And basically, you just push it on, just snap locks. And they're real quick, and they're real easy, and they're kind of expensive. <laughs> but that way, I don't have to have sweating tools and reach up in here. And... Are you okay? Where'd my fitting go? It's right here. Try to reach up in here and sweat the fittings on that thing. There's less water in here than there was the other day. Yeah, I opened the drain up a little bit, floor drain. Good. Probably needs like snake. Yeah, it probably does. That'd probably work really good if it got cleaned up, didn't it? Basically, it's just, that is an adapter fitting, so it's going from that half inch copper to three quarter pecs, and it'll fit on the pecs the same way it does the copper. And I bought those two fittings like that so that I didn't have to get sweat tools because I don't have a sweating torch anymore, not one that works good. Oh, trying to get that curve out? Sorry, right, folks. Our lights are are battling each other here. Sorry. You're okay. You're okay. It's not your fault. You gotta have your light. Oh, it's gonna run it up there for a little more support. And it's gonna have to run back there anyways. Eventually. Oh, yeah. Might as well feed it through on the short side. Yeah, and sometimes it's almost impossible to roll it back and get it. It's not, it's, yeah. it's flexible, but it's still pretty stiff, you know yeah. what I mean? this little house or it's not little this old house just has a little bit of plumbing in it and it's pretty consolidated I would think for a house yeah, yeah. and you can get most of it from the basement at least I mean that's all that's under a house is what you can see right just up in a little there. bit of the bathroom and that's what like five or six foot wide uh -huh. and it's pretty good looking copper under there so the hope is I can tie to that and we won't have leaks and mostly we'll <laughs> Hopefully we don't have leaks, but if we do, we go in and fix it, I guess. Yep. I just realized mm -hmm. me doing that. Oh, that's my cold water supply. Okay. But I've got a... No. Okay, I, I'm good. I'm good. This is my hot water supply to the... To 
to the uh, shower. Okay. And I've got cold water supply there, and that'll galvanize there was the old cold water supply. So I was thinking, oh, man, I'm going to have to get up in there and plug some copper, but nope, I'm good. So I've got a snap ring on my PEX. This is a centering, and I'll show you in a minute why that works better than a, a uh, why I like it better than a um, compression ring. A compression ring is just a solid band of steel, and you slide it over there. Put your fitting in. <laughs> You're wiggling. I, I can't. I know. I'm I can't sorry. do it and get my hand out of your robe. Sorry. It's all right. There we go. We got our fitting in there. And part of the reason I prefer these centerings is because it's one tool for every size of PEX. Um, the other kind of rings, the compression rings, you have to have um, a different tool for each size. This one is just one tool because it just has to get a hold of that little knob right there and it pushes it together. And it just crimps it down. Kind of like a zip tie. Yep. So instead of a crimp ring, it is a centering. And then my tool has three handles. And that way I can get a hold of this one first. I pull it. And then that puts this handle a lot closer to me. So my hands don't have to stretch as far. And then you get it all the way bottomed out. And that's your fitting. It's on there. And we're going to cut this and put it in here and put a 90 on it yep and put it down to our I don't know if I can use a pair of those or not Oh, yeah? I think I can use those before I can walk. <laughs> he knew I was being <laughs> ornery. <laughs> I don't know how many thousand pieces of pipe I've cut the end off of. And glued male and female ends on them. Male or female ends on them. They didn't use PEX when you was helping your dad. Though. No, I don't know if they use PEX now, do they? Oh, I don't know. A while back, your dad. So we're going to put that on there. We've got it in place. Now we're going to use that. Okay. Now we got to put this one on. Before it goes in, is that coming? In? That's going into the water tank. Do you want to go in before it goes into the water tank, or no. it's going to come out of the water tank? Oh, it's here. coming out. Okay. This is my hot water supply, so it's coming okay. out here. Okay. And do I want it to? Do I want to just put a shut off here, or do I want to put a shut off here and a shut off here? 